Hello viewers, in this video I am going to calculate capitio Fabrizio fractional derivative of these elementary functions including sin x, cosine x and exponential function. Since we know that the definition of capitio Fabrizio the definition of capitio Fabrizio fractional derivative from a to x of order alpha of some function f of x is equal to m of alpha over 1 minus alpha integral from a to x e to the power minus alpha x minus t over 1 minus alpha into f prime of t dt. For this particular problem, I am going to take a to be 0 and m of alpha to be equal 1 and f of x equal sine of x so that f prime of t would be cosine of t. So it becomes d from 0 to x of order alpha of function sine of x would be equal to 1 over 1 minus alpha integral 0 to x e to the power minus alpha x minus t over 1 minus alpha f prime of t which is cos of t dt. Okay. We can Split this integral into 2 e to the power minus alpha over 1 minus alpha into x and then e to the power alpha over 1 minus alpha into t. Since first factor is independent of the variable of integration which is t so we can pull it outside. So it becomes 1 over 1 over 1 minus alpha into e raised to power minus alpha over 1 minus alpha into x and we have integral from 0 to x e raised to power alpha over 1 minus alpha into t and we have cos of t or we can write cos of 1 into t dt. Okay, we use a, a, a very famous formula of such kind of integral, integral e to the power ax into cos of bx dx which is equal to e raised to power ax over a square plus b square into a time cos of bx and plus b time sine of bx plus cost of integration. So we can use this formula to evaluate the above integral. So I have e to the power minus alpha over 1 minus alpha into x over 1 minus alpha. And here we have this alpha over 1 minus alpha will be our a and b would be 1. So applying this formula over this integral I get e to the power ax which is e to the power alpha over 1 minus alpha into t whole over a square plus b square this is our a so alpha over 1 minus alpha is square plus b square which is just 1 into a which is alpha over 1 minus alpha cos of bx so cos of t plus b which is 1 sine of bx which is just sine of t and we have to evaluate our limit from t0 to tx. Okay, this can be written as e to the power minus alpha over 1 minus alpha into x over 1 minus alpha and we can write this factor by simplifying alpha square plus 1 minus alpha whole square over 1 minus alpha whole square and then we have to apply 
the limit over this function remember we have this function as well because it also contains t so when t is x this becomes e to the power alpha over 1 minus alpha into x and inside when t is x this is alpha over 1 minus alpha into cos of x plus sine of x this is upper limit and minus for lower limit when t is 0 this factor becomes e to the power 0 which is 1 and here when cos 0 it is 1 so we will have alpha over 1 minus alpha and for this factor since sine 0 is 0 so we will get nothing so this is what we got after applying the limit okay now we can multiply this factor inside and remember when we multiply this by this one you can see that this is minus time the same and this is plus time so they have the zero power so it becomes one here we can f cancel one factor and the remaining can be written as one over one minus alpha over alpha square plus one minus alpha whole square and uh, uh, since this times this becomes 1 so we have alpha over 1 minus alpha into cos of x plus sine of x and then when I multiply this factor by last one so it has alpha over 1 minus alpha into e to the power minus alpha over 1 minus alpha into x okay now we can again multiply by this factor so i have after multiplying this factor alpha time cos of x and then 1 minus alpha time sine of x and then minus alpha time e to the power minus alpha over 1 minus alpha into x and in the denominator simplifying this alpha uh, 1 minus alpha whole square equal to 1 plus alpha square minus 2 alpha so combining with this we get 2 times alpha square minus 2 alpha plus 1 so this is the derivative of sine of x from 0 to x of order alpha of capital Fabrizio fractional form so in particular if you take alpha to be 1 by 2 this becomes capitu fabrizio derivative from 0 to x of order 1 by 2 of sine of x since alpha is 1 by 2 this is 1 by 2 1 by 2 into cos x plus 1 minus alpha 1 minus half again it is half into sine x minus 1 by 2 e to the power alpha which is half 1 minus alpha 1 minus half is again half so half over half cancel out so we get just e to the power minus x and in the denominator 2 times alpha square which is 1 over 2 square which is 1 over 4 minus 2 into alpha which is 1 by 2 plus 1 so here we get 1 by 2 minus 1 plus 1 this cancel out so we have 1 over 2 so we can factor out 1 by 2 from the numerator and we can cancel out so in the end we get cos of x plus sine of x minus e to the power minus x this is the half order capitu fabrizio fractional derivative of sine x in the same way uh, we can calculate the fractional derivative from 0 to x of order alpha of the function cosine of x and it it is equal to you can use the same argument I applied for the sine x the answer will be alpha time sine of x minus 1 minus alpha time cos of x plus 1 minus alpha time e to the power alpha over 1 minus alpha into x and in the denominator 
टू एल्फा स्केयर माइनस टू एल्फा प्लस वन एंड यू कैन सी दैट वेन एल्फा इज हाफ दिस इज हाफ दिस इज हाफ दिस इज अगेन हाफ दिस इज हाफ सो इट कैंसल आउट सो वी हैव साइन एक्स माइनस को साइन एक्स एंड प्लस ई टू दावर माइनस एक्स सो जस्ट स्लाइट डिफरेंस हियर वी ओनली गॉट द साइन डिफरेंस फ्रॉम द प्रीवियस वन सो इन सेट ऑफ कॉज वी हैव नेगेटिव कॉज एक्स एंड फॉर नेगेटिव ई टू दावर माइनस एक्स वी वुड हैव पॉजिटिव ई टू दावर एक्स साइन एक्स वुड हैव द सेम साइन सो दिस इज द this will be the half derivative of cosine x under capital fabrizio derivative so in the third we can take the exponential function with the same argument from 0 to x of order alpha if we take e to the power x or in general kx where k is constant we can write 1 over 1 minus alpha integral from 0 to x e to the power माइनस एल्फा एक्स माइनस टी ओवर वन माइनस एल्फा इन टू द ड्रीवरी ऑफ दिस फंक्शन विच इज के टाइम ए टू द पावर के टी डी टी सो दिस बिकम्स के टाइम वन माइनस एल्फा इंटीग्रल फ्रॉम जीरो टू एक्स ए टू द पावर माइनस एल्फा इन टू एक्स माइनस टी वन माइनस एल्फा एफ वी ज्वाइन दिस टू एक्सपोनेंशियल करनर्स we can write k times t dt now this can be integrated very easily k time k over 1 minus alpha we would have e to the power minus alpha x minus t over 1 minus alpha plus k t and in the denominator we have the derivative of this power with respect to t which is nothing but alpha over 1 minus alpha plus k and we have limit from Zero to x. So this becomes k over one minus alpha. When x is when t is x, this first term zero. So we would have only e to the power k x minus when t is zero. This term is zero. Here t is zero. We would have e to the power minus alpha over one minus alpha into x. And in the denominator, it is. alpha plus k time 1 minus alpha over 1 minus alpha this factor cancel out this factor so finally we have k over alpha plus k time 1 minus alpha and we have e to the power kx and e to the power minus alpha over 1 minus alpha x this is the derivative of e to the power kx under capital fabrizio fractional derivative here you can also check the result for alpha is 1 by 2 so if we take alpha 1 by 2 and if i fix k to be 1 by 2 as well the result is going to be k is 1 by 2 over 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 1 minus alpha again it is 1 by 2 and here e to the power 1 over 2x here after simplification you will see that it is 1 minus 2x so this becomes 1 plus 1 over 4 plus 1 by 2 it is 3 over by 4 so 1 by 2 and 1 over 2 plus 1 over 4 it is 3 over 4 so it's 4 by 3 and if you can write 1 by 2 x minus e to the power minus 1 by 2 x and if you if divide by 2 and multiply 2 the second term can be shifted to hyperbolic function so it is 4 over 3 sin hyperbolic 1 by 2 x which is the derivative from 0 to x of order 1 e to the power 1 by 2 x under capital fabrizio you can 
switch the function into an elementary functions for the specific value of alpha and 